Recently on the Creative Abrica website, I came across an excellent tutorial about creating coloring pages with motivational and inspiring quotes for selling on Amazon KDP. The idea is to place an abstract coloring image as the background and then overlay quote text on top of it with a white fill and black outline. Now, imagine how quickly you'd want to give up this routine task if you had to do it manually in Canva. Luckily, you won't have to do it manually because today I'm going to show you how to create hundreds of such coloring pages in just a few seconds using Python and ChatGPT, and I'll even provide you with ready-to-use code that will enable you to generate these coloring pages and make money on Amazon. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button on this video, and be sure to watch this video until the end because I will explain how to properly prepare the generated files for printing before uploading them to Amazon. At the conclusion of the video, I will also discuss discovering unconventional niches for these coloring books and the correct selection of keywords. Let's not waste any more time and dive right into the installation of our Python application. Part one, installing the application. Create a project in PyCharm and name it ColoringBot. Then download the bot files from the link in the description and move them to the project folder. Next, open the terminal and execute the command to install the necessary packages, which are specified in the requirements.txt file. For image generation, we will use the familiar pillow library. With the installation done, let's proceed to prepare the images and texts for generating our coloring pages. Part two, preparing background images. To work with, we need abstract coloring pages that will serve as backgrounds. You can find and download them on the Creative Fabrica website. Using the link in the description, you can make a few downloads for free and also get other freebies and bonuses. So head over to the Creative Fabrica website and in the search bar, type in your desired key phrase. For example, like this. What size of images do we need? The most popular format for Amazon KDP coloring pages is 8.5 by 11 inches. So we'll be downloading files with this resolution. So select the images you like, make sure they have a commercial license and download the files. After that, extract the downloaded archive and move the images to the images folder in our project. Part three, generating quotes using ChatGPT. Head over to ChatGPT and ask it to generate 50 very short motivational or inspirational quotes and remove the periods at the end of each quote. Copy the generated quotes to Google Sheets and export the file in CSV format. Rename the file to quote CSV and place it in the data folder of our project. With the images and quotes prepared for our coloring pages, we're now ready to launch our application. Part four, settings and running the application. Our application consists of three files, config coloring pages and main PI files. The main PI file serves as the entry point for application from which we'll run it. In the coloring pages PI file, you'll find the implementation of the application and its main functions. The config PI file contains all the variables to customize the design of our coloring pages. Let's look at the key settings. We'll start with fonts. I've prepared several good fonts downloaded from Google Fonts. The font files are located in the fonts folder and the paths to them are specified in this set of variables. If you wanna use your own fonts, download them and place them in the fonts folder. Then declare a new variable for the font and provide its path. Add the name of the new font variable to the fonts list. This list is used to randomize fonts as they will be selected randomly from here. To remove a font, simply delete it from this list. Moving forward using the frame variable, you can enable or disable adding a frame to the image. With the following variables, you can set frame margins, thickness, color, and corner radius. These variables allow you to adjust font size, color, outline thickness, and the number of characters before line breaks. If you need to change the size of the overlaid image, you can do so with the resize image variable. Set it to true and specify the desired width. If you wish to disable previewing or saving the generated images, there are show and save variables for that. Now let's run our bot and test its functionality. Perfect, the finished images are saved in the ready folder. If the text of any image goes beyond the boundaries, simply remove that image or regenerate it with a different font. Part five, preparing files for printing and uploading to Amazon KDP. In the previous video about automating flashcard creation, I demonstrated how to prepare files for printing in Adobe Illustrator. However, since we now have a large number of files to prepare, this method would be time consuming. Therefore, today I'll show you how to prepare files in bulk using Adobe InDesign. Launch the program and create a new document sized 8.5 by 11 inches with two pages. Drag our first image onto the first page and align it to the center. Leave the second page empty. The second page serves as the backside of our coloring page. It should remain blank to prevent ink bleed through. 
Now select all the remaining coloring page files and copy their paths. Create a new document in Google Sheets and paste these paths starting from the second cell. Enter this text into the first cell. Export the file in CSV format and copy it to the folder containing the prepared coloring images. Return to Adobe into Design, select the image on the first page. Then go to the Data Merge menu. Choose Select Data Source and select the saved CSV file. Next, choose Pages, click on the Create Merge Document icon, and press OK. A new document will be created with all the required coloring pages and blank pages. But that's not all. Let's format the first page of our interior as a this book belongs to page. To do this, select the first page, then go to the Pages section and add two more pages. Next, prepare or download a similar file and drag it onto the first page. The final step is to export it to the PDF format with the necessary PDF preset. To do this, go to the menu and select Adobe PDF Presets, then choose the High Quality Print or Press Quality Preset. Select the path and file name and then press the Export button. Now we have a ready-made interior for our coloring book in the required format, ready to be uploaded to Amazon KDP. I've provided you with a tool for money making, and in conclusion, I want to give you a few pieces of advice that will increase your chances of earning money on Amazon KDP. Here's the first one. Look for niches and sub-niches with less competition. The motivational quote coloring book niche is highly competitive. So look for smaller niches where you're more likely to make sales. How do you find these niches? Let me show you one way. Go to ChatGPT and ask it to provide you with the 50 most popular hobbies. These are all potential niches. Let's consider the fishing niche. Now head over to Amazon and enter the initial query coloring book fishing. Look at the suggestions that Amazon provides and choose a phrase that narrows down our search. I also recommend using a Chrome extension, like a MZ Suggestion Expander or similar, which gives you more keywords and suggestions. Next, take a look at the number of search results Amazon displays. This indicates the competition in the niche. First and foremost, aim for niches with results ranging from 100 to 1,000. Let's focus on this niche and create a coloring book for it. Find suitable backgrounds on Creative Abrica, generate fishing-related quotes using ChatGPT, and create ready pages using our coloring bot. You can use the same approach to explore niches and create coloring books for various holidays, personalized coloring books, ones with quotes for kids, and many others. Choose keywords wisely. Here's how I do it. I base it on analyzing the titles of the top 10 or top 20 products in the chosen niche. I've created a Python parser that gathers these titles into a table. Then I copy and paste them into this website, which performs semantic analysis. This helps me identify the most important words to use in the title, subtitles, and bullet points. If you're interested in obtaining this parser, let me know in the comments. I might consider sharing it on my Telegram channel, Swearing Quotes Coloring Books. How do you create these coloring books? Since ChatGPT won't provide you with quotes suitable for such coloring books, look for them on Google or use Freedom GPT. And that's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Next time, I'll prepare something interesting for you.